All right. So, what's the theory behind why bodybuilders have more female daughters versus male versus, versus sons? There's two theories. Uh, well, there's actually the hot ball theory, uh, and this this is probably true. Uh, men, are, the male genome is less robust than the female. It is, and, and statistically, about 125. Uh, pregnant male pregnancies occur for every hundred female pregnancies. Now, some epidemiologist or something's going to tell me that's different. This is what I learned 25 years ago in school, probably by some other whack job who <laughs> in academia. But 125 male pregnancies for every hundred female pregnancies. On, by the time birth happens, there's 115 male births to every hundred female births, and then by the end of adolescence, it's about 100 to 100 equal. And that's because men are stupid and kill themselves doing stupid teenage dumb shit. And then obviously, as you get older, by the time you get 80, it's much reversed. But the, so the theory is that the male sperm is less robust. And so when you are uh, like an athlete and your balls are hot all the time, it's a more difficult environment for sperm. Wait, but I thought Liver King said if you if you sun your balls, that's how you get look like him. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. That, I think a little more has come to light into, into that whole <laughs> ball sunning situation. It involved trunbolona, trunbolols, or, <laughs> but, uh, but anyways, so, but that seems to be like a possible thing. I, I like to think of, uh, uh, that, you know, if you, if you think, cause evolutionarily there's no society, there's no, just, you got hundreds of thousands of years of things lived or they didn't live, you know, and what's the most likely to live. And I think if you have a male who's extremely virile, uh, and has a lot of years left to kind of lead his tribe or his local tribe or his family. And he has a lot of men, he has a lot of male offspring. There's the, going to be the case where the, uh, the dad, the father is still in his tribal leading prime at the same time. The son is in a, in an age when he's at a tribal leading prime, you know, and this is like evolutionary, you know, like there's no, you know, like things like incest or societal norms, you know, hundreds of thousands of years ago in the wilderness, you're not thinking about those things, you know, the body, the, evolution just what what survives survives and so if that male were to be to have a bunch of sons it it's likely you know like you picture lion pack you know if a, if a male lion has a male son the, those sons get chased off or killed you know and so there's a that, that i like to think that some men are just so awesome that, <laughs> is that, that why i have two girls you have four girls exactly the genetics won't allow it just another it's male just, to come along it's just There's not happening too much man already here <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense i mean logically makes sense when you explain it that way uh all right what about what about elephant testosterone i mean is that like a new branch a new uh formula of sustenon that's out there or something or ear musk <laughs> <laughs> yeah ear musk. that's true isn't it is that something people are like using now as a lotion or something uh, no but that that is true right if you've seen like uh like bull bull elephants and musk i mean we all we all went through our like uh bull, bull elephant study period right where we <laughs> no but i think they they leak like a, they, a secretion out of their ear you know like animals are crazy we're we're so weird compared to other animals you know you think like you know like why is hunting season in the fall and that's because deer mate in the fall. Why? Because then the, 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 they can be pregnant through the winter. So there's no newborn babies during the worst weather of the year, you know. And when are the babies born? In the springtime. So they have the spring, summer, and fall to mature enough before they have to deal with the rigors of winter. You know, we don't have that. We, you know, like, if we, life would be so much more convenient if women just walked around and when they were ready to mate, they leaked some, some, uh, some pheromone that we tasted and actually you know like that 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 uh you know that's how they smell you ever see an animal like open its mouth like that because there's there's olfactory senses in their mouth that are specific for sexual sense you know well here this is this what you're talking about hold on i gotta pull this i up. hope so because i hope i didn't make that up <laughs> This is, is yeah. this yeah, look at it. Look at, that. <laughs> look at that. You're not lying. It's there. That's a, yeah, that's Mr. It's Olympia there. Elephant right there. Look at that. That dude's leaking testosterone. <laughs> He's jacked. Don't He's gonna need an AI dude. really quick. That's the that's the animal kingdom equivalent of cauliflower ear. You know, you walk into a bar and you see a guy with cauliflower ear, you don't start shit with them. Nope. You see an elephant with piss running down his eye, <laughs> you do not start a fight with that elephant. Uh well, it looks like yeah, you're Anyone who uh, commented on previous episodes that you're crazy, we just proved them wrong. So, yeah, serious. Good stuff. <laughs>